now my pleasure to introduce Minister Meta Bach, Denmark's Minister of Culture, Mrs. Bach. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to welcome you to Copenhagen and to ICANN 58. It's an honor for me to be your host and set the stage for the important work of the ICANN community. This is the 58th meeting in ICANN, but it is the organization's first meeting in Denmark. I think it is about time we invited you, the digital front runners, because we see ourselves in Denmark as being amongst the most digitized countries in the world. Denmark tops the Digital Economy and Society Index in the European Union and is in the top 10 of the UN ICT Development Index. We are early and very enthusiastic adopters of new technology. Danish citizens are the most advanced in the use of internet in the European Union and we are leading the way in terms of adapting tablets and smartphones. We do also have a strong scene for tech companies in Denmark. Copenhagen ranks high on the lists for digital scale-ups and startups of the European Digital City Index 2016. This is because we both have a healthy business environment and access to skills and capital. A lot of this is due to the digital awareness and entrepreneurial spirit in the private sector. But the public sector has also played a very important role. The digitization of Danish society did not just happen by coincidence overnight. It has been promoted by political dedication to a long-term strategy and a strong cooperation between the public sector and private business. Over the past 15 years, Denmark has undergone a unique transition to digital public administration, communication and services. And a lot of the digital solutions originating from previous digital strategies have now become part of our everyday life. Today, you can do your tax return or register a new company on your smartphone using your secure digital ID. We have been digitized a lot of our cultural heritage, which I'm particularly proud of as a Minister of Culture. I hope that the online access to Danish culture would make one of the great icons like Hans Christian Andersen, the most trending topic on Google here in Denmark? Well, it's not. In 2016, the most trending word on Google in Denmark was another major cultural phenomenon. It was Pokemon Go. <laughs> but this does not disappoint me at all. It tells me that the internet opens our eyes and minds for the world around us. And I think that the lesson of Pokemon Go shows us the Internet's potential for tying the world together. Although Denmark has come a long way in the digital transition, we have in reality only just started on a very long journey towards making Denmark a part of a truly global Internet community. That's why we see it as a very important step to host the ICANN 58 conference. A lot of work still lies ahead. The further transition of Danish society, as well as the entire global society, will strongly depend on the functions of a free and open internet. That's why I would like to underline the important and critical role you all play in coordinating and developing the domain name system. 
you carry out this mission for the benefits of the internet community as a global whole. And you do it through open and transparent processes that enable competition and open entry to internet-related markets. At least this is the wording in ICANN's bylaws. But seriously, the IANA transition only happened because the whole ICANN community, and that is you, was able to work together and to develop proposals that received a very broad support. It was indeed a masterpiece and showcase for how the multi-stakeholder mode model can function and deliver sustainable results. The enhanced accountability of ICANN has also been an important issue for Denmark, and we are very pleased with the outcome. In this process, we particularly paid attention to ensure adequate checks and balances between the board and the community. We wanted effective to redress procedures and to ensure that no single group is able to capture ICANN. It was also important for us that the new setup had been stress tested before the transition took place last year. The stability of ICANN and the internet is without saying a key point. For Denmark, it has also been important that the governments should still play an advisory role in the ICANN ecosystem. Governments should actively contribute to solve any disagreements between the ICANN board and the community through dialogue in the new empowered community. Self-regulation is very near and dear to my heart. And we were pleased to see that the new accountability mechanism could be accommodated under Californian law so that there was no need to consider another jurisdiction, but of course ICANN would be most welcome in Denmark. <laughs> it is important that the ICANN community continues to work on accountability issues and conclude with the nine areas that remain to be discussed and agreed, among others, the question of diver diversity. <clears throat> Here, there still is some quite, quite a way to go, be it gender, representation, geographical representation, or age. This is an issue that must be solved in order to secure that there's no doubt about ICANN's legitimacy Messi as a true global multi-stakeholder organization. I recommend the work of all those who have devoted so much of their time and energy to engage with the multi-stakeholder processes. Denmark firmly supports this model of internet governance. I wish you all well in your deliberations here in Copenhagen and with your stay in Denmark. And as a Minister for Culture, I cannot help urging you to get an opportunity to see some of Copenhagen and Denmark. Not only should you visit some of the many Danish restaurants with Michelin stars, but also try out our cool street food places and get a taste of the cultural institutions in Denmark as well. And perhaps, why not, go to the castle of Elsinore, Kronborg, where Shakespeare's Hamlet takes place. On that note, I want to twist the words in Hamlet just a bit and assure you that nothing is rotten in the state of Denmark. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.